Hi guys, Claire Staines from Love Lonely and Dog Services here. A question that keeps coming up time and time again for me that people keep asking um, is what piece of equipment do I recommend the use of when we're teaching a dog to, to walk with a loose leash? The answer to that question lies in the question. The question is, what do I use to teach a dog to walk with a loose leash? I am teaching a behaviour, I'm not stopping a behaviour. So therefore, I want to use a piece of equipment that the dog can pull with. And the reason that I'm going to use that is because I know the dog is comfortable and I'm not stopping something because the dog is feeling pain or feeling discomfort. I'm actually creating a behaviour that the dog is comfortable performing because it's, it's easy to do, it's fun for the, the dog to do. Right, things that stop behaviour in the circumstances are choke chains, prong collars, slip ropes, the illusion collar, even a flat buckle collar to a certain extent can be used, non-pull harnesses and head collars, so that's seven of them. There are seven things that we can use to stop behaviour. Some of them, in my opinion, are more horrendous than the, the other. Some of them are potentially more damaging than the other. But quite frankly, all of those items are off the table for me when I'm teaching a behaviour. I aim for a dog to walk with just a collar and a leash, but whilst I'm teaching them that, I am going to put a harness on them. Now, I'm not going to use a non-pull harness. I'm going to use a harness that fastens at the back that the dog can pull with because I want the dog not to pull. I want to replace that pulling behavior with a top behavior of walking nicely. I want the dog to perform that behavior because it wants to, not because it has to. I want them to do that behavior because they enjoy it, not because they're avoiding the displeasure of the opposite. So that's what I'm aiming for. There's plenty of videos on my YouTube. I can do tons more if you want on the variety of different ways that we can teach a dog to walk with a loose leash. But while they are in that essential learning part of the behavior, I'm gonna make it as easy for them as possible. It might be harder for me, I get over that. It's easier for them. In your dog, if you feel your neck, your dog's neck is exactly the same as ours. They have the trachea, they have an esophagus, they have lymph nodes, they have a spinal column, they have veins, they have everything, they have thyroids, they have everything going on in their neck that we have going on. I just don't think it's ethically correct to cause any long-term harm or short-term harm in that area. They only have one neck, I want a healthy dog. So that's why when someone asks me every single time I'm going to say pick a harness. Now, to answer one of the questions, I see it coming up on Facebook a lot and I actually want to applaud it because the answer is correct. When someone says, use a harness and then you're always going to get someone's going to come on typing and saying, don't use a harness, your dog will pull more. No, they don't pull more, they don't pull less, but they can pull more. That tells you a story. That tells you the dog can pull more because it's comfortable. This is a strong animal, of course it can pull you off your feet. Of course it can. I want it to pull, to have the ability to pull you off your feet, but choose not to do it, because not because it's uncomfortable, but because it's enjoying the experience. So I hope that makes sense. So when someone does say to you, don't use a harness, your dog's gonna pull more, I want you to give them a thumbs up and say, yeah, my dog can pull more, but the whole point of why I'm using a harness is to make it easier for my dog so that my dog isn't feeling like it's choking itself. All right, so the alternatives you can have is your dog enjoying a behavior or it can have metal on its neck. Funny thing is, it's you that has the choice and I want you to choose wisely. Thanks for watching. And remember, I always say this, it's happy training. So it's creating behaviors, not stopping them. Have a good one.